Hey there guys, how did you get on? How was it? I hope you had a brilliant race out there. I hope it all went well and according to plan. I hope the sun came out for you. Um, I'm just going to take you through a quick bit of stretching now just to relax those tired muscles, give them a bit of a stretch out. So let's start on your front, lying on your front. And then take one heel in towards your bum. So bring that heel in towards your bum. Don't worry if it won't get all the way there. Those legs have worked hard today. They'll be feeling tight. As you do that, think about pushing that hip there into the ground. Keep both hips down. Keep the knees together. Pulling that knee, the foot in towards your bum and you should be getting a good stretch into the front of your quad there. Keep holding it. We always have a tendency to only hold it for a few seconds and then move on. We want to hold it for long enough that it's actually going to do some good. Those legs have worked hard, let's give them a good stretch out that they deserve. To deepen the stretch, think about drawing up at the front. So drawing that hip up at the front, squeezing that glute down. Getting a deeper stretch in there if you need to. If it already feels tight, just hold it where it is. Each time you breathe out, think about relaxing into that stretch to see if you can get a little bit deeper into it each time you breathe out. So nice deep breaths, relaxing your body down. After all the work that you've done, keep drawing in. Let's swap onto the other side now. So other heel in towards you, keeping the knees roughly together, pushing that hip on that side down into the ground. So how did it go? Did you get some photos? I hope you got some photos on the start line, maybe even as you were going along. If you did, please do share them with us. So upload them on social media with the hashtag winter run. So we can see how you got on and then have a look yourself, see everybody else. Remember, you weren't just running, might have felt like you were running by yourself today, hopefully with me in your ear. Um, but you were all running together. So take a look, see everybody else's photos, see what we've achieved together. A few more deep breaths on your front there. Good work, then let's slip onto your back and we'll go into your glutes. So grabbing one foot, crossing it onto the other leg, put your hands behind that leg, so hands through behind that leg and then draw it in towards you. And you should be getting a stretch on the bent leg side. So on that leg that's crossed over, you should be feeling a stretch into your glutes on that side. You can move it around by pulling the knee in a little bit more, take it across the body, out across. So left to right, feel that stretch. And again, holding it there, each time you breathe out, think, can you get a little bit deeper into that stretch? Nice deep breaths, relaxing down. Lovely, let's swap onto the other side. So how is the fundraising going? I hope that you've managed to set up your fundraising page, shared it with people. Please do share it with people now. If you've got some photos, share them as well. You can share it on social media if you're happy to. People always like looking at those photos. Tell people, you know, what did it mean to you? Is there a particular reason that you're run, that you're fundraising, that you're fundraising for Cancer Research UK? Have you got a personal story related to it? Share that if you're comfortable. Share how hard you worked in the training, how what you feel you've achieved with that run. Tell people why it's personal to you. But more than anything, just tell them you've done it, share that page, try and get some money raised. It's such a great cause and we more than ever this year, Cancer Research UK really needs that money. Obviously, fundraising has been hit with the pandemic, so let's try and raise some money together, helping a great cause. Lovely, we're going to hamstrings now, so you can do whatever stretch you want. I'm going to go for just kneeling down, one foot in front. Putting my hips back behind me, keep this knee soft. So I'm getting a stretch into my hamstring here, pushing my hips back behind me, chest down towards my leg. Make sure you keep this knee soft. Often we think we're stretching the hamstring and actually we're just stretching the back of the knee, which isn't really helping. So make sure the stretch you're feeling it in the back of the legs there. Now, if you did enjoy today, or maybe enjoy is not the right word, but when you look back on it, hopefully you look back on it with fond memories. But if you have enjoyed the process of doing the training, of preparing for that race, doing the race, then I'd love it, or we'd all love it, if you could join us on September the 5th, Sunday the September the 5th, in real life, for the Cancer Research UK London Summer Run. So kind of like what we did today, but doing it for real, with other people around you, doing that run, raising money for a great cause. Let's swap legs. 
So again, hips back behind you, getting that stretch into the hamstring. So yeah, if you're interested in signing up for that or finding out more, we would love to see you there. Few more deep breaths, hips going back behind you. And then finally, I would love to hear how you got on. So if you're not already in the Oro, the official Oro members group on Facebook, come along, join us on there. You can share how you got on, share your photos, but tell us how you got on. If you've got questions, feedback, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'd love to hear how you found the process of the training, but also how you found race day. I hope you had a good time with it. Like I said, you might not be thinking that now, but hopefully with hindsight, you will look back on fond memories. Okay, finally into your calves. So standing up, heel down, foot facing forward, pushing your weight forward. So keep that heel down at the back. You should be feeling it in your calf there. Depends how tight you are as to how far forward you'll get, but make sure you keep that heel down at the back. Make sure that front foot is facing forwards. If you want to slightly increase the stretch, imagine you've got a grape underneath the arch of your foot and try and make sure you're not squashing that grape. As it gets, as it starts to ease, if it does, push your weight forwards a little bit more so you're getting in there a little bit deeper. As I say, each time you breathe out, just think, can I get a little bit deeper into that stretch? Swapping onto the other side. Nice deep breaths, trying to get deeper into the stretch as you go. So with all of that, if anything's still feeling tight, if when you were stretching it, you thought, wow, that feels really tight. If you need to go for any longer, just repeat all those stretches, carry on for as long as you need to. If you have a foam roller and you want to get that foam roller out, definitely do some rolling on there, either today or tomorrow, whenever you get back to it and you think, oh, that's still feeling a bit tight. But mostly sit back, have a, have a good relaxing afternoon, enjoy yourself, give yourself a massive pat on your back from me, from all of us here. We're so proud of what you've done, for, for what you've achieved with the run, for what you're achieving with the fundraising. Don't forget to share that fundraising page with your friends, your colleagues, anybody, tell them all about what you've achieved. Help get them part of that journey with, with them helping with the fundraising as well. Um, for now, this is me signing off. It's been great working with you through the training plan. I'm so proud of what you've achieved today. Hope to hear all about it. Um, and I hope to be working with you on another run training plan soon. Take care, guys.